bit more to the right. It's not fair. How come Rhineus gets a wrist and I don't? Come on, Scarlowy. You know that Rhineus is still having issues steaming. Let's go. Scarlowy was cross. Rhineus had trouble steaming, and Scarlowy had to pick up the pieces. He would shunt his trucks onto the first passenger train, and would run up to the quarry when he had time. Then he'd set back for home. This in turn made Scarlowy short tempered, and the slightest mishap made him very cross indeed. Oh there, Scarlowy. Slow down. Botheration. Now we'll miss our path. <laughs> We're right on time, Scarlowy. <laughs> we won't be late. <laughs> yeah, great. <laughs> Even after they'd cleared the sheep off the line, they still kept running into trouble. Let's get going. We'll be late at this rate. Come on. What is it now? We're waiting for Mrs. Last. Bother that Mrs. Last. Let's just leave her behind! Don't be silly, Scarlowy. If we did that, with every single one of our passengers, then we wouldn't have any! By the time he reached the connection with the main line, a very cross Scarlowy was very late indeed. When are you going to get steaming properly again? I'm tired. Whenever you stop complaining. The following morning, Scarlowy was determined to be early for the rest of the day. He had a lot of steam and nowhere to put it. Scarlowy flew down the line. He was a blur as he passed. He was so busy that he forgot to whistle to his oh, friends. Hello, Scarlowy, hello. Oh, he doesn't even whistle. Huh. Everything was going well until he reached the valley. Well, what's happened now? It looks like one of the wagons ran a hot box. It's no wonder with the speed at which you are going. As Scarlowy's crew inspected the truck, Scarlowy sat fuming as he waited for them to be done. Perhaps it might have been better if they had focused on the little engine. Now, no one knows quite what happened next. Scarlowy swears that he felt his driver pull the lever, 
The driver says there was no one in the cab to pull the lever. But everything happened at once. Scarloe began to move. Ooh, ah! He cried. The driver, fireman and guard gave chase after the little engine, but it was useless. Their efforts might have been in vain if the points weren't set against him. Scarlowe came up with a loud screech. Steam engulfed Scarlowe as the driver pulled the regulator back into place. When he was railed, a tiny hiss followed him everywhere he went. The driver and fireman checked him all over, but they couldn't find anything wrong. He was still leaking steam when he reached home that night. Renius was there, chuckling to himself. I knew you didn't want to do any extra work, Scarlouis, but you needn't throw a hissy fit about it. <laughs> Scarlouis couldn't help but laugh either. <laughs>